Right everyone, Web Collector here. Thought I'd do a bit more of an in-depth video on my recent homemade crossbow I made. This is a very simple crossbow. I've made quite a few crossbows, probably uh, at least five or six I think. Uh, they sort of vary from quite complicated to very simple ones. And what I wanted to do with this one was make a very simple crossbow with the minimum amount of materials and tools and features this is pretty much just a sort of point and shoot crossbow very simple very little to go wrong with it and easy to make that was the point of it as well it's supposed to be you know what this really easy to make this was originally going to be part of a tutorial showing how to make it but i took so long making this one i stopped doing it so I probably will do another video, well I definitely will do more videos showing how to make them because they're actually my most popular videos. So they'll definitely be coming soon but yeah this one was supposed to be a tutorial to show you how to make a very simple crossbow. So it is made mostly from plywood, cheap plywood and aluminium and that's it and some screws and bolts and two springs that's it really that's the whole thing the only thing you would need to buy really is the prod because uh the only way to do a good small prod like that is to buy one you know if you're going to do it simple otherwise you've got to start getting spring steel you've got to start using angle grinders you've got to start making your own string a lot of the time it's just a lot easier just to use an existing prod with an existing string because you know the string is the right size you know it's going to work you know the power of the prod you know so this works on a roller nut system which is basically just a round round piece of metal like that with a little bit cut out like that in the top and bottom the top bit receives the string and the bottom bit receives the trigger it's got quite a heavy trigger pull to, to shoot this quickly you do need two fingers you can shoot with one but that is the nature of doing a very simple crossbow you know will have a quite hard trigger pull but you know it doesn't really matter this is just a fun thing like i said it's just point and shoot it doesn't even have a sight on it the only power tool i used for this entire thing was a drill and that was really just to drill the important holes which was like here here the sort of pivot holes and this one they had to be accurate the holes for the aluminium i didn't use a drill i just used a nail punch if you put this aluminium onto a piece of wood hit it with the hit the aluminium with a nail punch you can just punch the holes in you know you don't need to drill for thin aluminium prod is held in with a little bolt this is a new feature i've never done this little plate at the front but i had to with this one because it the wood was splitting a little bit and it looked untidy but i may do that with other ones I've always done the side plates because they just help strengthen up the wood in these important parts. Yeah, you know, overall, I think it looks very good, really. The wood's a little bit poor quality, a bit split, but I like it. You know, it came out exactly how I wanted it, which was to be a very simple, traditional-looking crossbow, you know, pistol crossbow, so... Tell you what I'll do now, I'll take it outside and I'll do a bit of shooting and then I'll come back. Right, so I thought I'd film myself shooting and do a little bit of a commentary over it. So to shoot it you have to adjust the nut to the right position, and then you can pull it back and you'll notice I always put my finger behind the trigger, it sort of works like a sort of safety, you know, as long as that trigger's pushed forward, it's alright. So like I said, to shoot quickly, you need two fingers, really. This is the adjustment on the bolts that you have to do. Just do that, and then it sits right back 
touching the string makes it shoot a bit better you get less misfires and here I'm just showing you how to adjust the nut so you have it sticking up now when you pull the string back it rotates the nut into the locked position yeah it does shoot good it's fun to shoot not very accurate though I'll be honest with you but that is because the lack of a sight it is literally just point and shoot you could certainly hit a big target easily but shooting something like this bottle was quite difficult in fact I only managed to hit it once that time and I managed to miss the water as well but you know you can see the strength of it went through the bottle fine and then lastly I thought I'd do a little first person, uh, well not a first person, reverse first person shooter um, angle I suppose what you'd see if you was being shot at and then just as I fired it hit the, I aimed a little bit low, hit the wood and the uh, flight broke off right yeah that's the shooting so it shoots good one other thing I didn't mention was in this roller nut it, I don't know if I'll be able to show you or not I'll show you in a the picture there's a groove in it so what that does is if you have the groove you don't have to have the groove but sometimes what can happen is the string can jump over the bolt so then you, you end up having to have the bolt slightly forward and then it sort of makes it like the string is almost hitting the bolt if you know what I mean whereas this method all you have to do is do a little bit of adjusting on the bolts yeah the bolt flights you just cut a little bit off the flights just so they'll sit further back and then they're actually touching the string to start with which means you never get a misfire yeah I think it came out good another feature I'd never done before was but I'm gonna do regularly now is these rails they make it so much smoother than the bare wood because no matter how much you sand that wood it's always a little bit rough you know it's rougher than this is going to be anyway you know, you can get it good with high quality wood, but with plywood, you see, you've got it going with the grain up, so it's never going to be as smooth as you want it. So this works brilliantly. This rail would be as good as a rail on a proper crossbow, you know. So yeah, that is it. That is my very simple homemade pistol crossbow. I thought it came out alright personally. And I'll definitely be making more. And I'll definitely do some tutorials next time. So yeah. That's it. I hope you enjoyed it. By the way. If you ever want to support this channel. You can now. I've got a um, Patreon. If you join that Patreon. That would help me make these kind of things. And um, you know. Just help in general. But there's also Gearbest links. That you can use. Gearbest and Amazon links. So if you shop at them use my links and then I get a percentage of what you spend at no cost to you so that way you can help you don't even have to do anything really so yeah that's it that is my homemade pistol crossbow I hope you enjoyed it see you later